welcome back to Cranking Out Crafts. My name is Jay Flo, and this week we are going to show you all the components on how to make this nice um, hat just in time for graduation. So we're going to show you how to make the pom-pom, the tassel, and this hat by the end of the week. Today we will start though with the pom-pom. So what you need is some yarn and then this is just a little cardboard piece. I cut three by six and this will be great for to make the pom-pom and the tassel. So to get started, I am going to start wrapping on the three side. Wrap, wrap, wrap. And you want your pom-pom to be really fat and fluffy and so you actually want to do this a bunch of times probably at least a hundred and I I don't really count I just keep going until it gets really big and poofy so continue and you can see I have about that much I'm gonna double that so keep going this is a great project for kids too. I think kids would um, be great at doing this and wrapping. And I even think the pom-poms would be cute on the um, end of a tennis shoe or a roller skate like the olden days. <laughs> okay, so I think a little bit more. Okay. Here we go. So I'm going to cut it off at that end and then pull it very nicely. Okay, then take another piece. You don't want this to unravel. And in the center, I'm grabbing it and I'm going to tie a knot, squeeze it really tight. Thank you for the finger. <laughs> and then, all right. Now we're going to go in through all the loops on the sides and give it a little snip. And this will start forming our pom-pom. I know that there's tools out there that can make pom-poms more perfect, but this is the old school way. If you only have the basics at your house, like a piece of cardboard, some yarn and scissors. And then, ta-da! If it's not perfect, you can give it a little haircut. Some of these are a little bit longer. And then I have my nice little pom-pom with the little tail here that you can also use to tie on to whatever you want to. Okay, so there's your little pom-pom trick for the day. <laughs> 